This video is dedicated to the NBA basketball players and coaches that passed away in the past year. Calvin Ramsey was a standout college player for NYU, he played 13 NBA games over two seasons. After his playing career ended, he began a 28-year affiliation with the New York Knicks as a broadcaster. John Havlicek played for 16 seasons with the Boston Celtics, winning eight NBA championships, four of them coming in his first four seasons with the team. In the NBA he is one of four players to have won eight championships in their playing careers, only teammates Bill Russell and Sam Jones have won more, with 11 and 10 championships respectively. David Stern was an American lawyer and businessman who was the commissioner of the NBA from 1984 to 2014. He started with the NBA in 1966 as an outside counsel, joined the NBA in 1978 as general counsel, and became the league's executive vice president in 1980. Stern became commissioner in 1984, succeeding Larry O'Brien. After 30 years, Stern resigned as the longest tenured commissioner in the history of major North American sports leagues. He was a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Stern was credited with increasing the popularity of the NBA in the 1990s and 2000s. He had also been credited with developing and broadening the NBA's audience, especially internationally setting up training camps, playing exhibition games, and recruiting more international players. Ben Coleman was drafted by Chicago Bulls 37th overall in the 1984 NBA draft. The Bulls traded his rights to the Trail Blazers he also played for the Nets, and the 76ers. Billy the Bullet Gabor played for the Syracuse Nationals. He won a league championship with Syracuse in 1955. John McLeod coached three different NBA teams, from 1973 through 1987, he coached the Phoenix Suns, the New York Knicks and the Dallas Mavericks. Al Bianchi played for the Syracuse Nationals of the NBA. He moved with the team to Philadelphia when it became the 76ers for the 1963-64 season. He was one of the last proponents in the NBA of the two-handed set shot. Bianchi became the head coach of the Seattle Supersonics, he then became coach and GM of the Washington Caps Virginia Squires of the American Basketball Association. Andre Emmett played college basketball for the Texas Tech Red Raiders, and was named a consensus All-American as a senior in 2004. He had brief stints in the NBA with the Grizzlies and the Nets after being selected in the second round of the 2004 NBA Draft. Emmett was shot to death on September 23, 2019 in Dallas. Andrew Anderson was selected by the Boston Celtics in the 1967 NBA Draft. He played for the Oakland Oaks, Miami Floridians and Los Angeles Stars. Andy O'Donnell Jr. played in the NBA for the Baltimore Bullets during the 1949-50 season. Anthony Grundy played with the NBA Atlanta Hawks in the 2005-06 NBA season. Grundy died at age 40 on November 14, 2019 after being stabbed during an altercation in his hometown of Louisville. Bob Rule was a center for the Seattle Supersonics, Philadelphia 76ers, Cleveland Cavaliers, and briefly, the Milwaukee Bucks. Rule's 18.1 points per game average stood as the Supersonics' rookie record for 40 seasons. Rule scored 47 points in a game against the Los Angeles Lakers, still a Supersonics rookie record. Carl Shear was as the general manager of the Nuggets, Clippers and the Hornets. He was also the commissioner of the CBA. He was the first GM in Hornets history and is credited as the inventor of the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. Charles Hardnett was drafted Hawks. He played for the Zephyrs and the Bullets Hardnett also coached at the college level. He coached at Coppin State College and at Morris Brown College. Clinton Wheeler played for three teams in the NBA. The Pacers, the Heat and the Trail Blazers. He 4-1 championships in the Germany League. Ed Califat was drafted by the Lakers in the first round in 1954. He played three season with the Lakers averaging 7.1 points and 5.7 rebounds per game. Califat retired after the Lakers traded him to the Detroit Pistons in 1957. Frank Pep Saul won four consecutive NBA championships with the Royals in 1951 and with the Lakers from 1952 to 1954. He is one of only three players in NBA history who won three titles with two different teams in consecutive seasons. Howard Nathan played with the Atlanta Hawks and he also appeared in the 1994 documentary film Hoop Dreams. 
Jerry Greenspan was drafted by the Syracuse Nationals in the third round of the 1963 NBA draft. Greenspan remained with the team until his retirement at the end of the 1964-65 NBA season. Jim Fritcha was selected in the first round of the 1953 NBA draft by the Lakers after a collegiate career at Hamlin University. He played two seasons for three teams, the Lakers, Baltimore Bullets and Fort Wayne Pistons. Jim Marsh played professionally for the Portland Trail Blazers of the NBA before transitioning to a career as a broadcaster for the Seattle Supersonics, he served as the color commentator on Supersonics television broadcasts for 12 years. Jimmy Rail was selected by the Cincinnati Royals in the third round of the 1963 NBA draft. He later signed and played two seasons for the Indiana Pacers. Joe Belmont was hired as the head coach of the American Basketball Association's Denver Rockets, a position he held for a season and a half. Johnny Newman, nicknamed Johnny Reb, he played the shooting guard and small forward positions. Newman played in the American Basketball Association for the Memphis Pros and Tams, the Utah Stars, the Virginia Squires and the Pacers as well as the Kentucky Colonels. He then went to play in the NBA for the Braves, the Lakers and the Pacers. Jumpin' Jackie Jackson was selected in the 1962 NBA draft, but was recruited by the Harlem Globetrotters, to play for them. He played with the Globetrotters for 20 years with Marcus Haynes, Meadowlark Lemon, and Fred Curley, Neal. Jumping Johnny Wilson played baseball for one year with the Chicago American Giants in the Negro Leagues before playing basketball for the Harlem Globetrotters from 1949 to 1954. Kobe Bryant was a shooting guard, Bryant entered the NBA directly from high school, and played his entire 20-season professional career in the league with the Los Angeles Lakers. Bryant won five NBA championships, was an 18-time All-Star, 15-time member of the All-NBA team, 12-time member of the All-Defensive team, was named the 2008 NBA Most Valuable Player, and was a two-time NBA Finals MVP winner. Widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, he led the NBA in scoring during two seasons, ranks fourth on the league's all-time regular season scoring, and ranks fourth on the all-time postseason scoring list. Larry Weinberg was one of the owners to secure an NBA expansion team for Portland. Weinberg became president of the Trail Blazers in 1975 and two years later, the Trail Blazers won an NBA championship. Lewis Lloyd played seven years in the NBA, after being selected in the NBA draft by the Golden State Warriors. After two seasons he moved to the Houston Rockets, where he would play three full seasons. Maya, Whitey, Skoog was drafted as a territorial pick in the first round of the 1951 NBA draft by the Lakers, the Lakers won three NBA championships in his first three years in the league. Paul Bucky McConnell played in the NBA for the Milwaukee Hawks in 14 games during the later portion of the 1952-53 season. Paul Dawkins was drafted in the 10th round of the 1979 NBA draft by the Utah Jazz where he played one year. He was inducted into the Northern Illinois University Athletics Hall of Fame in 1991. Rick Fisher was a power forward who spent one season in the American Basketball Association as a member of the Utah Stars and the Floridians. Tom Nisaki was a head coach in the NBA and the American Basketball Association. He coached several teams in both leagues including the Dallas Chaparrals, the Supersonics, the Spurs, the Utah Stars, the Rockets, the Jazz and the Cavaliers. Tony Barone was head coach of the Memphis Grizzlies of the NBA. He also coached collegiately for Creighton and Texas A&M. Wataru Masaka broke the color barrier in professional basketball by being the first non-white player and the first player of Asian descent to play in the NBA. He played briefly for the Knicks. Bob Burrow was signed to a scholarship without Adolph Rupp seeing him play in person. He played collegiately for the University of Kentucky and was selected by the Rochester Royals in the NBA draft. A jersey honoring Burrow hangs in Rupp Arena. Burrow played for the Royals and Minneapolis Lakers in the NBA. Jerry Rook was drafted by the Baltimore Bullets in the 1965 NBA draft, although he never made any final NBA rosters. Rook's professional career lasted one season as a member of the New Orleans Buccaneers.